So now it's time for the grown up talk. And so if you got the kitties, because we're going to have a kitty soon, <laughs> get the kitties out of the, the kitties room. Get the kitties out of here. Okay, because we're going we to hold some things, but we're going to go ahead and talk, okay? Because we grown and we married, okay? We didn't really get serious about conception. So those of you that don't know our marriage story, we got married in December of 2021. So that's been about a year and a half, about a year and seven months now. And we didn't really get serious about conception. And this is a grown up talk, right? I didn't even take out my birth control until like what? Uh, right before the wedding. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't long before or anything like that. We didn't get serious about trying to conceive until summer of 2022, like the end of summer. And I wanna say we got cognizant of things around August of 2022 and what we were going to try to do so. Sean, you wanna talk a little bit more about, I mean, we don't have to tell them about our business. You know what I'm saying? We, we don't, y'all know what trying me. What part, right? what part you want? Okay. Look, we was doing it a lot, y'all. Was I supposed to say that? That's okay, that's okay, that's fine. We, we, we was doing it a lot. I mean, I'm my wife, my wife fine. <laughs> my husband okay. fine. My wife is fine. My husband fine. So we was we was doing a lot. We was, we was and already, naturally so, not with trying to conceive. Right. We was that already was. doing it, but I think that we just started to get real a lot more strategic. About trying to harness a harness. Exactly. Like we was trying to harness a harness. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? We was trying to <laughs> bringing in a new harness to the world. That's right. You That's know, right. we got the good genes and we wanted to pass the genes down, pass the genes you know, on. and we decided minus the pressures from everybody else. Cause mm -hmm. that was always the question. Y'all, before we got married, it was already, when y'all gonna have a baby? Y'all gonna have a baby? Y'all gonna, gonna have two babies? babies. <laughs> y'all have twins? Y'all gonna have triplets? Y'all yeah. gonna have a lot of kids? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that got to be a lot. Especially as a woman that's because my husband never made a big deal of my age. Um, he always forgot that I was my age. Yeah. You still do. I don't know if that means I'm immature or what, but. You fine. He <laughs> Thank you, <laughs> babe. <laughs> you ain't want to kiss me on the camera, but you said doing it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, my, <laughs> my husband um, never made a big deal of my age. And so for me, I was the one that was a little more nervous but he was always sure he was always sure that we would conceive and i always let my mind my husband knows i'm anxious mm -hmm. okay anxiety runs in my blood i am diagnosed with generalized anxiety disorder but i'm one of those proactive people too i think it has also worked to my benefit and so around that time i'm like babe we haven't conceived at least let's go check in with a doctor and see what's going on. So I'm not gonna tell the IVF story yet, but I do wanna say, uh, Sean was on board with whatever I wanted to do. you wanna talk about how you were feeling in general, just about having a child, bringing a child into the world? I was always nervous. Um, not because of Sean. Whoa. <laughs> with Sean, I, that's the only time I felt sure. Right, because even when I thought about doing this alone before, because I had always told God if I wasn't to meet the right person, that I would try to embark on that journey by myself. My mother did it. Um, my mother adopted me and I was fine with that. But of course, I would have wanted to love someone and bear a child from love. Um, and so when we started getting serious about it, I did get more nervous, mm -hmm. right? Because for me, it was just a, a scary thought because the world is interesting, right? And I want to be a good parent, but I have to say something about my husband is even in the time of becoming a wife, I kind of had my freak outs too. Mm -hmm. You know, they you don't really hear about women talking about she had freak outs them. when we was going ring shopping. <laughs> <laughs> we was going ring shopping and she was freaking out. I was like, why are you so nervous? I was. She was nervous. I was freaking out. I was nervous about becoming a good wife, right? So for me, I had waited so long to be a wife and, and to be um, sought after by an amazing husband. And for me, I had I've done me for years. So I wanted to make sure that I was considering 
what was the definition of wife for me? Um, and also how that fit in with what Sean viewed as a good wife. But he always reassured me I would be a good wife. It wasn't no stipulations or no big... Well, I, f- I feel like we... I don't know. And I, I think about this as we kind of make decisions. We're good with moving forward with the decision. Y'all, what she leaving out is that I moved halfway across the country. He did. Which most people don't know. Some do, I some don't. Them that. Oh, they, oh, they oh, do. I told them that, man. Look, y'all, I moved halfway across the country. You I sold all the way from Chicago. I sold all my stuff. I put my, my car in a trailer and got on the road. He sure did. Y'all, when he got here, I was like, oh my God, he's really here. Like, I freaked out again. So, <laughs> with that said, with all of that said, it, it was a continual thing because mm-hmm. I had gotten over the fact that, oh, okay, we doing good as wife and husband. Of course, everybody has their ups and downs, but me and Sean certainly have more ups than we do downs. And we work well together. Mm-hmm. So, I had gotten over that, but then I started thinking about the conception thing. I'm like, okay, now we thinking about adding parent onto this thing. And I don't know if... Do I know how to be a mom? You know, mm-hmm. do, am I ready for that? And Sean always reassured me. So to answer the question, I was always a little nervous mm-hmm. about becoming a mother. I feel like you still don't know how to be no. a mother. I feel like you have mother qualities. Mm-hmm. Just like I feel like I have father qualities. But I say we don't know because we haven't done it yet. Yeah. It doesn't mean that we don't have the thought that we could Could know. So I feel like that's important to mention. But I also think what's important to mention is we kind of talked about this a little bit. The last video is that I feel like we've done we've done pretty well. We have We've gotten this far. We've done pretty well. I feel like our our mentors, our moms they all prepared they, us. They did a good job at preparing us to, to where we are, where we are now in our life. Well, we need to fast track because the people came for why, how we knew we was pregnant. Okay. So that's a roundabout way of us discussing it. But how do we know, uh, Sean? Well, a couple things, a couple things was going on, y'all. Let me, uh, okay. So real quick story. One day I came in the house and... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, first of all, my wife stopped leaving the house. And I'm like, why are you not going anywhere? For like days. For for days. I mean, like days. And so I'm like, why are you not going anywhere? So I went on a run. I got back in the house. And so I'm in the house. And I'm like, yeah, babe, let me tell you this story. Um, <laughs> I, I was out. And then, you know, this guy had walked up to me. And she was like, yeah, what, 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 what happened? What happened? I was like, yeah, this guy had walked up to me. And then all I heard was just. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Y'all, Y'all she fell asleep. asleep. I fell asleep. We was mid-conversation. She fell asleep. And Sean said he looked at my face and it was so peaceful. It because like, I thought I thought it was a joke at first. He said he was like, Nina? Nina? I thought it was a joke. I thought she was playing a joke on me. Uh, so y'all, here I go. Asleep. Sean, I wake up. Sean already on it, right? He like, babe, I think you pregnant. And I was like, no, I was just really tired. I'm exhausted. Mind y'all, our family had just left like a week before Mm -hmm. so I'm like you know our family was here we were preparing for them to be here you know my mom was here my little sister my new niece Nairobi was here um my brother your brother was here his fiance was here we had a house full and so for me and then we invited people over we had like a cookout everything Mm -hmm. so I'm like you know Sean I'm just tired you know we had a lot of people in the house I'm trying to you know, do a lot of stuff, you know, and I was irritable too, like extra irritable. So I was like mad at him for telling me I was tired and I probably was pregnant and I'm like, I know my body. I know what I'm doing. And so, I'm glad we in this on camera because I didn't it's say that. Okay. It's you, okay, man. You, you, I'm, I'm real with the people. I have that? my ups and downs. I ain't trying to be Paula, uh, Paula perfect over here. This ain't. That ain't what it be. But um, I was irritable. And I, I couldn't quite figure out why. I could. And I know that same 
you don't know this, but like maybe that same night or the next day, I was in my office here doing my work and I literally fell asleep. And my head was like, <laughs> my head was like this, y'all. I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> and I got up and I was mad at myself. I'm like, I didn't even finish my work. I was so tired. <laughs> What's going on? And I had been asleep for like, Two hours, something crazy. Sean came in here like, hey, babe, what's going on? I'm like snapping at him like, nothing. I've got to get my work done. And he's like, okay, I just came to check on you. You good? And I'm like, no, my neck's hurt. My neck hurt. I fell asleep. I was so tired. So the sleeping was a big part. Like I was mm-hmm. sleep. I, I don't sleep that much. In comparison to most human beings, I don't require that much sleep. In a normal, Sean, talking about before we found out I was sleep. I mean, before we found out I was pregnant. Oh, that you were before we knew I was sleep. Before we found out I was pregnant, I didn't sleep like that because I could go all night and then like get up the next morning. Mm-hmm. Like, no, I can't do that no more. Mm-hmm. Like, I would get up, go do a full workout after like six, seven hours of sleep. Now I need them eight. I got to get them eight or I'm I'm done. So that kind of. Clued into some things. Mm-hmm. What was the next thing you remember? That uh, she was real forgetful. She, she was she was forgetting a lot. I mean, everything. And she don't normally forget anything. My keys. Yeah. But it was worse. It was like everything. Well, you normally forget your keys on a on a regular basis, but that's a different conversation. Right, However, right. it was it was more forgetful now basically it was it was a lot more i was forgetting a lot of stuff like just (laughs) stuff that had just happened and my memory is usually pretty good like describing things i couldn't remember words i couldn't remember who i was talking to i couldn't remember names of people i had known for years (laughs) sean was like so who said that and i was like uh you know um and i'm like um he was like no i don't don't. like can you tell me who it is (laughs) no i don't know who you talking um um and then i get mad at him like you know who i'm talking about you just don't even want to act like you know he'd be like uh okay i'm (laughs) trying to ask you who it is and I'm like I don't know y'all when that started happening I'm like hmm that's odd and so then it was I was supposed to start my period it was coming and I had been measuring my period and knowing when my period came of course being that we had been trying to conceive I had been quite cognizant and he was even Mm -hmm. quite cognizant of my period so he had started asking like did your period come? And I'm like, nah, <laughs> nah, it ain't came yet. But you know, maybe because we had had a few of those treatments, we had some treatments and mm-hmm. stuff like that. I was like, well, maybe. And you were like, maybe you've already had a period since then. So what's, what's going on? And I'm like, oh, okay, no, I'm good. I'm fine. And he was like, okay. So then the next day he was like, did your period come? And I'm like, no, nah, and I kind of feel sick. So that's how I kind of kept going. I kept, <laughs> I feel sick, y'all. Like I was waking up like, man, I feel nauseous. And it would be random. Like we went to church one day and then mm-hmm. we went to brunch and I was like nauseous on the parking lot. I was nauseous when we were eating and it would just hit it would me be, Yeah, it would be random times of the day mm-hmm. that you would just get nauseous. I would just get nauseous. And Sean would be like, I think you pregnant, but you know, don't nobody want to listen to me. So then Bella was in on it, right? So, and Bella actually sitting over here, y'all. Is she licking my cover? I think she is licking your cover. Okay. Well, Bella, my baby, she was sitting, she was like, look at her looking at me. Um, she started standing in front of my door like like she was guarding my door for my office and then she would stand in front of my chair and like guard my chair and even when Sean would walk in she would be extra careful like watching everything he was doing (laughs) and watching everything I was doing and then even when I would she's clingy to me anyway but even when I would go to the bathroom which is really close in here she wanted to see what I was doing in the bathroom and she just wanted to sit in there. She would lay on the carpet or in the rug on there. And I'm like, <laughs> normally she at least stay on the couch. She would know? not let her be in the bathroom she by herself. She wouldn't let me be in the bathroom. And she would literally try to fight Sean to go in the bathroom with me. <laughs> and in the past, it was simple for him to be like, Bella, come out of there. And she would come out. 
But at this time, she was real. She wouldn't do it. Like if Sean told her to come out, she was like, no, she would run into the bathroom she and try to keep now. the door closed. But she would try to act like that, you know. <laughs> so <laughs> we was kind of like, oh, that's kind of strange. It's extra. Like it was really extra clingy. And um, one particular day, which she likes to lay on my chest sometimes, but one particular day she looked at me and she just like burrowed her head into my chest. And I'm like, I don't know what she doing. What is going on? And I even showed Sean. And she was just like nestling her head into my chest. And I'm like, what is going on with this dog? And what I think it was is that, you know, I was far enough alone for us to even detect a heartbeat by the time we went to the doctor. I think she could hear the heartbeat. But I still hadn't taken a pregnancy test. Yeah. Y'all, I waited how many days? Too many. A whole seven days late on my pregnant before I, I took thought it was longer period, than that. It was seven days before I took a pregnancy test. I'm normally between 26 and 28 days um, on number of days between uh, menstruation and period. And I didn't, I waited until like day 35 or 36 to take a pregnancy test. So with that said, the way we knew wasn't like this big extravagant way. You know how people be having all the stories and I knew because I just felt the heavens open. No. <laughs> I knew because I kept falling asleep randomly. I was falling asleep during conversations. I was falling asleep on phone calls. I was falling asleep on work calls. I was having to turn off my screen. <laughs> Even on campus when I would go, I would be halfway asleep. I was, it just <laughs> it wasn't hidden. Like I was ending classes early because I was so sleepy. Mm. I couldn't stay awake. I was yawning. Remember I was like yawning in yeah. conversations and Sean would be like, dang, you that sleepy in the conversation? <laughs> so I was yawning. I couldn't eat stuff. All of a sudden I didn't like coffee. Like I literally yeah, woke up coffee. one day. Hot coffee. Mm -hmm. I woke up one day and I was like, what is that? And Sean was like, oh, I just made my coffee you set up. I'm like, oh, this stink. This stinks so bad. <laughs> like, oh, who wants that? Mind y'all, I drink like two cups a day. So for me, it was like, what is wrong with that? You know, so nothing was glamorous about my how we knew we were pregnant story. It was just more of and, and for and women, symptoms, symptoms. Yeah. and for women that want to know like what my body felt like, I was having cramps, but no period. I was having headaches. I was feeling nauseous and it wasn't progressive. It's like all of this stuff kind of hit me at one time. And I'm not one that has nausea during her period or anything like that. So even when Sean started to notice, when Bella started to get weird, when my period wasn't coming, when I was asleep all the time, and when I was literally falling asleep in meetings, on conversations with Sean, on movies, on it. Cause I'm not that person. Sean usually falls asleep during movies. You don't? Well, sometimes. Oh, uh, <laughs> Sean is the type of person. Mm -hmm. You be like, uh, oh, it's time it's for us to turn this off. How is it going to be time for us to turn this off? You need to turn it off. Okay, but with that said, I was falling asleep on all of that. And it, <laughs> it just got to be progressively worse and worse. And then mm -hmm. I didn't want to leave the house. That was very odd, too, at all. I didn't yeah. want to leave at all. Like, And then she kept having these weird dreams. That was the, uh, oh my God, the dreams, y'all. The dreams was well, nuts. You know, I think it was because we were, we were always watching the shows mm -hmm. where we were like on a compound somewhere. The well, I mean, on the, the shows there were on a compound. But remember the Jack Nicholson dream? That I woke up that day, that was the first one. Yeah. Y'all, we was living on a compound. <laughs> we do watch all these compound movies. And all of a sudden, Jack Nicholson brought me and Sean in to tell us about some major project. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, what is he talking about? And him and Sean was just talking. I'm like, Jack Nicholson, what? I actually said, what are you doing in my dream? And he was like, I've known you for years. What are you talking about? And I woke up so perplexed. Like, Sean was like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, I just had a dream. I was trying to figure out why she was dreaming about some other man. That's what I was trying to figure out. 
But you was talking to the man. Y'all was y'all was boys. I mean, I guess. They was talking, right? And I'm trying to figure out why Jack Nicholson in my dream of yeah, all people. Too. So I was trying to figure that out. And I woke up so confused. And I was thinking about that for like days. And then I started having more vivid dreams. Mm -hmm. And so I would wake up every day telling Sean about these new dreams. And it would be just these craziest dreams. And I was trying to figure out where they were coming from. And so for at least a week and a half, it must have been when we conceived to when we found out we'd conceived. There were just so many symptoms that I feel like all kind of came on at once. Like I hear, I've heard the stories of people finding out, you know, they conceived or how they knew they were pregnant is these progressive symptoms. For me, it was like cramps, my boobs hurt. I forgot about that. My boobs was hurting. Remember that? I was just like, man, my chest is sore. Mm -hmm. And then they was getting bigger too. And even Sean called that. <laughs> Sean was like, oh, babe, your boobs look nice. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, they ain't, ain't nice. They ain't look nice before. But then I looked in the mirror, y'all. It happened so quick. I'm like, why are so big? What's wrong? And then my bras was just feeling tight. So it just kind of all happened for me. It wasn't all cute like these stories that people be telling. I mean, if you got a cute story, wonderful. But I literally had everything at once. Like sore chest, nausea, sleeping all the time, vivid dreams, dog, extra clingy, Sean was calling it. <laughs> and then we took the test. Mm -hmm. So I woke up on a Tuesday morning. I will never forget y'all was tax day, April 18th. Was it, it was tax feet? day. Hmm. It was tax day, yep. Because they said my conception date was like March 15th. Hmm. So we're we're doing December. Um, so it was tax day. I woke up on tax day and I said, I'm gonna take this test. And I had a clear blue, which is one of the most accurate. And I had taken a clear blue before, and they usually take a while to turn over in, in turn of the in terms of the results. And this time, it just didn't take long at all, mm -hmm. right? It was like- Right away. Right away. Sean was still asleep. So I went in, I was like, let me just get this done. I don't know what's going on. I went ahead, I, I went ahead and took the test. Y'all, I thought I had time to put the test after I used the restroom, and I thought I was gonna have time to wash my hands. By the time I picked the test up off the ground, in the bathroom, it was like doop, 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 pregnant. That was it. So I went and washed my hands first. I was being a <laughs> cleanly person. And then I went in the, in, the, in the bedroom and I was crying and literally <laughs> probably screaming. And Sean was yeah, like, what, yeah, what's yeah. wrong, what's wrong? And he got up like, what's going on? And I was like, we did it, we pregnant. <laughs> And he was like, why are you crying? You sound <laughs> sad. And I'm like, no, it's just so emotional. And so then he hugged me. It wasn't no, you know, I I think it's amazing how these people be having their camera ready and stuff. I didn't think about no camera. Mm -hmm. And it wouldn't have been cute with no camera because I was snotting and crying and everything. It was you look good when you first wake up, though. You don't look like oh, you trying people. to be sick. no. That that's for real, though. Like when when you first wake up, you don't look like you just went to sleep. Oh, seriously, no, seriously, so sweet. seriously. Thank you, <laughs> well, y'all, that's the not so fabulous story. story. I mean, we gonna have more soon, but. That's what happened. That was how I knew. And it was like the progression of like a week and a half. And mind you, this had happened after um, just stimulation through IVF didn't quite work out how we thought it would. And it was like the same month, mm -hmm. you know? So we know that God is real. Like yeah. it was so and the crazy. And the fact that the baby is basically due the day after our wedding. The day after our wedding anniversary. The day after our second wedding anniversary. Mm -hmm. And I can tell y'all a whole bunch of other coincidences, like the fact that YouTube contacted us and was like, hey, you going to Nairobi? My new niece who was just born in November, her name is Nairobi. 
I mean, my sister had no way of knowing we were going to Nairobi, mm-hmm. right? Um, we conceived in month three of the year. Our number for our wedding was three in our vows. Remember, three was like my number. I based everything off of three. You don't remember? Baby, you about to get in <laughs> trouble with the people. I think so, you're reaching on that one. No, remember I had three. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. We met and you asked me to be your girlfriend officially after three months. We okay. met in September. You asked me in December. December is a special one for us. And then it was a whole bunch of other three stuff. And I would just put that all in the vows. That's right. Get it together. Now, now I remember. Get it together. You now, now, together. now I got it. Get, get it now together. Now I got it. And also, um, my friend conceived, one of my best friends conceived exactly three months ahead of me. And I'm exactly three months older than her, but her baby will be three months older than I, baby, Lindsay. Hmm. It's crazy. Three is playing a big part in this. Not sure how that's going. But if y'all know something more about the number three, let us know. So yeah, that was our, our story. Let us know if y'all have more questions, comments, thoughts, but that was our little story time and hopefully y'all enjoyed it. Um, We'll have more on some things. I know some of the ladies have asked me what I did to like prepare my body and my system. And um, I think it's a a lot of things and we'll talk about that. Um, And then I think up next, I'll talk about that journey that we had with Mm -hmm. IVF. And if you guys are interested in hearing how I feel, I recorded a separate video on my channel for you to check out. Yeah, check out his his links down below in the description box. Did you know you was in my description box? Am I? Yeah. Oh, cool. Okay, all right. Well, you want to tell him (laughs) to like, comment, share, subscribe, you know? He already told me. (laughs) Y'all got to like, comment, share, subscribe, and make sure you share this with someone who needs the motivation. And how old are we? Not that we ain't really matched, but... <laughs> 40. We're 40. 40. We're 40. I'll be 40 in September. You'll be 41 in August. That's right. Sean born the same day as Barack Obama, so I knew I was getting a nice... And we went to Kenya. That's where I was right. from. Okay, I we forget the name of this tribe. Yeah, we gonna have to look so, that up. I think it's not right, okay. Well, know. anyway, this video should have probably ended five minutes ago. Okay, <laughs> well, thank you so much for watching. We love y'all. Beautiful brown baby doll signing out. Peace. You gonna sign up? Peace.